Hey everybody, we're here, uh, Inner Circle, we're doing uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, and uh, I have very little to say about this movie. I'm gonna let Clayton start. Uh, big Ape Smash, uh, Lizard Roar, Robot Attack. <laughs> I think before we get into it, what team were you on before you saw the movie? Were you Team Kong or were you Team Godzilla? Oh, God, don't team team Kong all the way. Team I was Kong. Team Godzilla. Like, full force. I couldn't decide. Like, on one hand, you have Monkey, which is, you know, the whole meme aspect of King Kong. And King Kong is actually a really good uh, monster mm -hmm. in his own right. But on the other hand, Godzilla, which is so iconic, arguably more iconic uh, internationally than King Kong. And, uh, I mean, he's a radioactive dinosaur. Let me interrupt like, and introduce. This is, this is Chad, famous from linked video of Godzilla. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I think yeah. I'm a little biased here. <laughs> I, I decided to bring in Kaiju Nerd to talk to Kaiju Nerd while I pl pleasantly sit and remember my fond memories of Peter Jackson's King Kong. <laughs> what about Thanks your fond memories me. of uh, the other Kaiju films like Pacific Rim? Uh, the Pacific Rim sucks. But what doesn't, <laughs> what doesn't suck is Godzilla vs. Kong where I saw a big ape go, go to the... Um, the hollow earth and get a battle axe and come back and stab a lizard. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, honestly, that <laughs> like, was like not what I expected. But with my, my five-year-old ape brain, I was just like, yes, give me more of that. And that's why I didn't like this movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, just, I just decided. Um, it's a great I, movie. I didn't like this movie because half the time and I know this is a tired critique, but half the time it was not being the title. What do you mean? Actually, two-thirds of the time it was not being the title. I, you know what? I don't, I'm not bothered by it at all. Uh, all I, the, the, I the hate stuff is fine. these goddamn stupid human characters that have no motivation, no development, and like every time they cut away from the monster fights, I'm completely disinterested. Well, uh, they had motivation. Millie Bobby Brown wanted to be in the movie. Um, <laughs> the the people that went to the Hollow Earth, uh, one guy had a dead brother they mentioned for like three whole seconds. Um, and the evil corporate woman, who Kong smashed as she screamed no, which was incredible. I loved it. That was, I, great. That was kind of satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you, you say that you don't like the the human parts and that they don't focus on the monsters, but like compared to the rest of the Legendary Pictures MonsterVerse. It was a huge improvement, in my opinion. Maybe not necessarily from Kong yeah. Skull Island, but from the other two Godzilla movies, where the fights are constantly being interrupted by bullshit about, like, a family breaking up and shit. I thought it was a major improvement, because, like, this one, they actually focused on the fights, and the fights had really good choreography. I will say this, like, the 40 minutes of this two-hour movie that are Kong and Godzilla fighting are amazing. Mm -hmm. But see, so almost half the movie you are seeing them literally punch each other in the face. I am like... But I wanted that to be the whole movie. I am 90% sure in one of those scenes I saw Kong legitimately square up and then throw a punch and it, it really, you know... Oh, dude, I he really did straight it. up, like, MMA moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, no joke. The That's fights like, were incredible. It was awesome. Like, the, the point that we've gotten to in cinema with, like, the CGI technical aspect and, like, how fluid and, and real we can simulate lighting, it's kind of insane. The one of the big issues I have with this movie is like how they they kind of like disregard all of the development that happened in King of the Monsters, which I don't necessarily I dislike because King of the Monsters I didn't like that movie either. I was terrible. I actually um, thought the movie was awful. Like I I liked that their narrative was a bit more focused on like the core family, mm -hmm. but. Um, other than that, I thought it was just, like, a mess. And this movie is, is more honest, I guess, about being a mess, but it's still a mess nonetheless. Yeah, um, I think that, like, compared to uh, all the other ones, especially the first, the 2014 Godzilla, that one really felt like it was trying to be set in our world, you know? Yeah. It was like, how would the actual U.S. military, like, deal with 
Godzilla. I'm glad you bring that up because as somebody who skipped uh, King of Monsters and Sk Kong Skull Island and just showed up because the title said Godzilla vs. Kong, um, I was very put off at first about the drastic tone and technological shifts between Godzilla 2014 and this movie. I totally agree with you. I am a huge fan of Godzilla 2014. I, yeah, love, I, I love that it's a I small, do enjoy that movie. grounded story. Even though Aaron Taylor Johnson is garbage in that movie. Yeah, film. I didn't care for it. I love, okay, that's different. We're not going to talk about how much Aaron Taylor Johnson's really good. Um, <laughs> but the, the shift from that to Kong's, or to Godzilla vs. Kong, where there's, we have spacecrafts that can fly into the hollow earth and they have halo energy shields. They reverse yeah. gravity. Yeah, oh. and gravity polarities are swapped. There's a new and, energy source. That and we're building a mecha planets. Godzilla who, that's like humanly impossible to build. The, the most ridiculous thing, Godzilla firing his atomic breath to the center of the earth. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So like all of these, all these things took me, like I had, I had a heavy adjustment to make. And accepting all of that is real in the same universe as that first movie. I totally agree. But because the movie seems to own its goofiness, I really, it didn't bother me. I was kind of okay with it, because by the time I was like, I was start to think like, a hollow earth craft going into, oh no, Kong just grabbed some like small lizard creature into hollow earth and bashed it into another one. <laughs> and, you know, and I just didn't think about it. It really... The goofiness and the action just make up for all yeah, this weird I, tech I jumps it makes. But the thing is, for me, there's so many attempts to still have that grounded in reality feeling. Mm -hmm. In the movie, like, uh, there's a shot where, like, they're watching CNN. And yeah. that was really, like, that one, and there, there's a reference to, like, the Tide Pod challenge, too. That I, one felt really, like, it just felt so off-putting with all this other, like, hyper-technology. It does you know? feel like the Millie Bobby Brown half of the human storyline is there so they can try and keep it grounded, mm -hmm. even though it's really unnecessary, and her her whole plotline with her side characters, they don't accomplish anything that yeah, I remember. They really don't. I mean, they, like, end up stopping Mechagodzilla at the end, but it's such a cheap... It's such a cheap way to do it. Very, they literally just poured water, fast. or I guess alcohol, on a computer. Yeah. And shut the whole robot down. At least down. Like, they went out of their way to previously establish that like that was like his dying wife's last gift to him. Yeah. But that was still kind of really contrived. But that that scene where he introduces uh, the fact that he, like his wife died or something was the worst scene in the entire movie. That, was, that, that was, line where he says, "It's really awkward." You have a Sarah was like the worst thing ever. I that that entire oh scene God. was so unnecessary and forced. Yeah. They paused the actual scene they were having and dialogue they were having so they could introduce the MacGuffin defend to like kill the main baddie. Yeah. And then they put the MacGuffin up and then they like it literally feels like it's an immediate tone shift right back to like the quippy dialogue about conspiracies. Mm -hmm. It's so out of place. Yeah. I just like this. This movie is a journey. Um, yeah, I will they, say they, though they are in the movie. No, you're good. They are in the movie purely to introduce Mechagodzilla. Mm -hmm. That is it. Yeah. I I, uh, I will say that like the the quippy dialogue. Well, it's obvious that they're trying to do kind of like a Marvel thing, you know, where it's like, oh, every character can have a little bit of humor to it. Everything isn't like too serious. Um, I felt that that was better than how they did it in the others in the other movies. I think the worst line of any movie I've seen recently was in this movie, and it was the the Deadpool two kid goes it's Robo Godzilla and then the old guy stops and goes no that's Mecha Godzilla yeah, it's, it, it's actually reversed yeah. oh it was yeah, the, kid, the kid was no, the one who it's said Mecha Godzilla I just remember oh being God. terrible I just remember oh, wow. being terrible I feel really bad for that kid because he has that yeah. stain on his career now yeah and he <laughs> was easily the worst character in the movie he had no reason to be there he was literally only there and I, for I, just dumb jokes. I liked him in Deadpool too. Yeah, I thought well, he was good. He yeah. worked as like a whiny boy. Right, but, but the overall, the human plot lines in this movie, I had no issue with. They were, okay, so like, the Millie Bobby Brown one, serviceable enough. 
the uh, the one about the Hollow Earth I really enjoyed mostly because mm -hmm. that was very Kong focused. Yeah. So I, had like, a I like I felt like it had a point. Kong. All all of those I'm, characters' conversations can be summed up in one sentence. Yeah, but then you the world needs Kong. Kong. You don't understand. The world needs Kong. It needs him. <laughs> no, it needs We're going to gonna fly him in a net on a helicopter to get him away from Godzilla. <laughs> to the hollow earth. To Antarctica. The point, the point is that the human plot lines weren't so terrible to where I dreaded every time yeah. they came up. They were so I was terrible. okay with them because every time at like the perfect moment where I felt like we need to cut away, it would or it would give me a monster punching another monster's skull in. Yeah. So I was I was okay with them. All the human plot lines at least had something to do with the monsters and the monsters fighting. Like, I know you didn't see the other ones, but the mm. other ones, it was straight up, okay, here's the monster fight, and here's a dumb melodrama. Mm. This one, at least it was like, okay, we gotta get Kong here so that he can do a thing and fight Godzilla, you know? Or, so we have dumb fight and then dumb melodrama. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's more, <laughs> like, matches. bearable. Okay. It's more direct. I want to jump straight to the most important thing, though. Um, so, how do y'all feel about the the big the big fight and the winner of the big fight? All right. The one at the very end. Yes, we so, can we can spoil it. I don't care about spoilers. Yeah, we've already spoiled Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, I've already. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've already. We, should, it, so. we should just talk about all three fights, honestly, because like I feel like all of the fights in this movie were like actually amazing. Like they were like my, super well. My favorite one was the very first one yeah, where they're jump, where they're jumping across aircraft carriers. It was so in silly. The water. I it was so it. silly. Like the the first fight scene makes sense to me because like I mean Kong gets destroyed. He's mm -hmm. in Godzilla's element. They're fighting on on open water. Yeah. So that was fun to see. And then you know Kong has this little side quest in Hollow Earth. And then they fight in a city where Kong can like leap on top of buildings yeah. and utilize his surroundings, so it's more in Kong's element. That's when he gets the upper hand. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, Godzilla gets smart, uses his atomic breath, and just destroys yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he asserted dominance after he beat him. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that, that shot of them moment. like screaming at each other, like Godzilla came out the winner, but Kong didn't bow to him, mm -hmm. as, it, as they say in the trailer. And, and I'll say that that first fight scene when they're in the ocean, I thought was like insanely well choreographed. Like yes. I, I, every minute something new was happening, and the the camera work during that scene was like actually crazy. Mm -hmm. The the shot of like the the pilot taking off and Kong is in the background and you can see him. The first person shot of Kong looking at him, looking at the carriers and literally going like one, two, three. Yeah, like, okay, here, and here, and doing it. That was great. The shot where uh, uh, Kong falls onto the, the ship, Godzilla is like above him and then the camera does a full 360. Yeah, with the, with the ship. That yeah. made my head spin. It, it, it did. It was, I loved it was it. cool though. And then it comes back and then, oh shit, now Kong's back and he gets a punch on him. Like that was super cool. The sh the shot where the the boat flips over and it goes underwater and then back above and then back underwater again. That's one thing. One fear I've had in the movie was like don't hide the action because the only yeah. movie I saw was 2014 Godzilla where it's all they, where it doesn't care about the monster action. It's about the people. So yeah. anytime like real action happens, you don't see it unless the like the characters are literally right under them while yeah. it's happening. So I was very excited when, in this movie, every time my fight started, it like started playing video game fighting music, and the camera <laughs> pulls back, and yeah. just you watch monsters punch each other. Yeah. It made me really happy. Yeah, I agree. It, this movie was like the cinematic equivalent of a five-year-old playing with his two favorite action figures. It's literally just like. <laughs> but I enjoyed that aspect of <laughs> it. So cool. Um, That's great. It triggered a perfect like you know I love a good serious movie, but I also love just. Dumb action. It's popcorn entertainment. Yeah, it's totally popcorn. I don't like I don't like the phrase popcorn entertainment, but I would agree like a dumb action movie is good sometimes, yeah, and that's yeah. what this definitely is is fun dumb like, action. I I, yeah. I didn't like it as a film, but overall I had a good time. In the film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. Um, yeah. There's definitely plenty of points. It's to, like, it's definitely a theater experience. The sound, yeah. the sound in this movie is incredible. Oh, did you see it in the theater? Yes, we watched it. We watched it yeah. in the theater. Oh, that's awesome. There we, was, we tried to go, but it was too, too crowded for my liking. Yeah. It, was, it was a smart choice at the end of the day, seeing it in the theater. Yeah, it, it seemed you, like it the surround fun. sound of things happening is so insane. Like, there's moments where Kong literally goes to swing on a monster, whether it's Godzilla or, like, the elders he fought in the Hollow Earth. 
he goes to swing on a monster, and if the shot is close up, you literally hear, like, the wind of his punch come from the back of the theater around to the front, and then contact. That's awesome. It's so, it's so incredible. I remember that moment. That was that fun. That sick, dude. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Hopefully it's still in theaters by the time I get my, my vaccine. Can't wait to see Mortal Kombat in theaters. Is that in theaters, too? I thought Mortal it's, Kombat. It's going to be in theaters. It's doing yeah. the same thing? Yeah. Like, HBO Max debut as cool. well. Um, which, be here for that episode. That's going to be a fun one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then the second fight scene when they're in, in Hong Kong, I also really, really enjoyed that one. Um, just because of like, I liked how, I liked all the different neon lights, that was really mm. fun. And then the, the choreograph, like we were saying, there's so much for Kong to work with. Like he's uh, like fucking jumping off buildings and like just uses his axe. He, yeah. he Kratos throwed through his axe across the city. Like just, I uh, probably should point out little moments. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Godzilla's over there, he makes eye contact from like, the entire city of Tokyo one way, grabs his axe, and just full-on God of War. Just... <laughs> yeah, that was but awesome. They, they're utilizing their specific skills, you know, I mean, Kong's a mm -hmm. big gorilla, so he's gonna behave like a gorilla, and then... Godzilla's a big lizard, so he's gonna crawl on all fours, he's gonna mm -hmm. bite and claw, um, gonna use his tail, so... Mm -hmm. Those little little subtle details I appreciate. Yeah, I, I liked how what they uh, how they made the how they, how they made Godzilla fight was really interesting as well. Mm -hmm. Like I liked how he had a bunch of different stuff he's using. He's not just like it's not just only nuclear breath, you right? Know, because that's such an obvious cop out before the movie was coming out. But it was saying like, how could he beat Godzilla if he's just got a laser beam breath? You know, yeah. like, he's clawing, he's scratching, he's, he's doing fighting. everything. Yeah, I thought it, it worked like super well and, and that fight scene especially i loved all the fucking pov shots of kong mm -hmm. how do we, so much fun how do we feel about uh mecha godzilla being in this movie loved it yeah. honestly great surprise well not how we've talked more about the actual fights than mecha godzilla's fight at the end kind of shows his importance yeah his his the big fight with mecha godzilla at the end where it's like all three of them are like going at it and they team up to rip Mega Godzilla apart. Like it's fun, but it it wasn't too important and it no, wasn't my favorite part of the movie. I, t I agree with yeah, you. It, it was, was just it was fun to see on screen. Mm -hmm. Like they needed to have an excuse for Kong and Godzilla to make up at the end and Mega Godzilla ended up being that. And yeah, and I think that was fairly predictable. Like I feel like a lot of people saw that coming. Well, um, I liked it. I like they executed it better than another Versus movie that came out. Yeah, they did. Um, they did. There was a better. There was. Choice. There was no. There was no, like standoff. We're gonna. No one really won. We're gonna team up to take the bad guy down. Like like a certain Zack Snyder movie did. <laughs> I love that they that we establish a clear winner, and then we're like, okay, and then you also get to see them team up and beat up yeah, the big robot. That was that was a good thing that I really enjoyed yeah. too. Is that Godzilla obviously won, mm -hmm. you know, and and it wasn't just like. It wasn't a stalemate or something like no that. One, no one, no one like, said, no one said, please save Martha, don't kill him. <laughs> that was the, they were screaming at each other. <laughs> Godzilla's like, how do you know that name? <laughs> but it was, it was like, it was fun, you know, to see Mecha Godzilla mm -hmm. again after all this time. And then, like, him and Godzilla square off. And yeah. Godzilla gets his ass kicked. And I, I liked seeing that. Cause I like the design. The big arms yeah. were kind of cool. I won't lie. Like, it made sense, you know? Like, I, I saw, like, a side view, like, concept painting of it, and from the side, it has the same proportions as Godzilla, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's a bit heftier of a uh, model, but from the front, he looks really spindly. Yeah. So I kind of liked how you can get a different picture of him at different angles. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I Godzilla, this movie was built, the man has been hitting the gym all these years. <laughs> Dude, for real. I mean, it's been, like, what, <laughs> seven years? Seven years since... 2014, like, he's been hitting the gym, you know, he's ready, he's been waiting for this moment, <laughs> but, like, the thing about Mechagodzilla, um, I do agree that I think that he should have been implemented in the story a little bit better, because it totally just felt like a yeah, kind of cop-out for a big final fight for them to team up, you know? I'm glad that they didn't introduce him immediately, like, they kind of, like, built up to it. Yeah, but right? I'm glad he wasn't in the marketing material, too. Right, yeah. I'm glad that that was, like, a good that was surprise, smart. you know? It was yeah, I mean, overall, I, I thought the Mecha Godzilla looked really cool. I liked the design a whole lot. I liked how he was animated. Like, he had, like, the, the rocket-propelled punches and stuff like that. And he had, like, the little missiles that came out of his shoulder. He looks very industrial and not yeah. as, like, um, sleek as he's been in past iterations. Yeah, not more just, like, a straight-up, like, uh, 
like a robot. And I also like that it was a mech, that it was a guy controlling it. That right. was a really cool little detail that uh, I kind of wish was expanded on a little bit more. But, I mean, it's not that important in the end. He knew he was going to become evil. Um, but and I thought it was implemented pretty well. Weirdly, a very gory kill for one of these movies. Oh, where you like, watch... he gets like his brain melted? Yeah, the man's brain melts and watches eyes roll back in his head. I was and, really like... hoping for like a cheesy, like, 80 head explosion. explosion. Yeah. I was really hoping for like, it. Uh, like, in scanners, like, like... Yes, yeah. like a scanners head explosion. That would be so cool. <laughs> but, you know, it's a PG-13, you know, big movie. That's not gonna happen. Well, gentlemen, should we give it our ratings? 7.5, sure. 7. good action, big, big monkey. Big, big monkey. monkey. <laughs> uh... I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Um, I'm not going to go as far as like give it a 1 because I didn't like it. No. I There are things in this movie that I did enjoy. Um, I just wish that it was two hours of just Kong and Godzilla fighting mm -hmm. each other. But it wasn't that, so... Oh well. I'd give it like... Uh, I'd give it a 7. You know, compared to the other movies in the MonsterVerse, I think it's better than the two Godzilla movies. I don't think it's better than Kong Skull Island. You should really watch that if you like King mm -hmm. Kong. He's that that movie is amazing. But is it better than the original King Kong versus no, Godzilla? It can, it, it yeah, be. I think so. Oh wait, this movie? Yes, I thought you. Was I think Kong's so. Kong. Okay, well, this movie doesn't have a live action octopus. That one that was pretty cool. The original is fun because it's cheesy. It's stupid, yeah. It's cheesy, <laughs> but like for for what it is, for it being like, you know, them trying to set up this whole cinematic universe uh, I think it's pretty fun and I really do hope that this is like a launching point for the rest of the franchise I really hope this is not you know a low point or uh, or like a peak I really hope that they continue with this style dumb monster fights I don't care about the people anymore or well I never did but like I just want big CGI monster fights you know bring in the other Toho monsters like if we can get like Destroya or Biolante or something like that would be so cool. No, but, awesome. but what is Aaron Taylor Johnson's bomb expert character doing? Dude, he died in that fucking <laughs> in that fucking football field at the end of the movie. Like Godzilla oh. just came in and fucking killed them all. That's why we don't. If, if you Elizabeth could, Olsen. if you could have like any sequel to the MonsterVerse right now, what would it be? So I really want them to do more with Mothra because I, I love Mothra. And I really do feel like she got the short end of the stick in uh, King of the Monsters. She did. And uh, they, they had like a post credit scene in that movie where they found another Mothra egg. So it's definitely possible to do it. I want a, just a solely Mothra-focused movie, honestly. Um, but eventually, I want to see them do like a huge, like, destroy all monsters thing. Like, Ooh, as fun. many monsters as they can. And I want it to be like as big as this one. You know, I want huge fight scenes. I want... Just pure nonsense. That's what I want. That'd be cool. Uh, that will be awesome. Just a huge budget, huge CGI monster movie. Like, that sounds like a ton of fun. So everything you just said about huge budget and huge nonsense and action is what I'm hoping for in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Next episode. Hopefully. Wait, no, that doesn't come out for like another two weeks. Never mind. I think we called Mortal Kombat the next episode for like four weeks now. <laughs> That's like just the thing. We reviewed the original. We're going to review the new one. Well, now you can do Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I'm not doing Annihilation. <laughs> Wait, that's it. That's it. We're doing Annihilation.